Hello and welcome to the nine new podcast of University of Foreign Language Studies, the University of Da Nang UFLS channel. My name is Ngo Thi Hing Trang, lecturer of Faculty of English, staying with you throughout the program. And here are the highlights of the nine new podcasts for quarter one of 2023. Fortune program of UFLS UD achieve education quality accreditation. Career Day at University of Foreign Language Studies, University of Da Nang in 2023. Francophone Cultural Exchange Day 2023. The trail meeting sections of UFLS UD University Council. Commanding and rewarding Mer Khun Thi Khan Thuy, Mix Vietnam 2022. Meeting to summarize results of Communist Party development activity of 2022 and set tasks for 2023. UFLSUD Joy 2023 Exam Season Counseling Day. Graduation Ceremony Round 2 of 2022. Enhancing digital transformation competence in higher education. On the afternoon of the 31st of March 2023, the Center for Educational Accreditation, Vietnam National University in Hanoi, announced decisions and awarded the Certificate of Education Quality Accreditation to four undergraduate programs of UFLSUD, including French Language Program, Chinese Language Program, Japanese Language Program, and Korean Language Program. With this achievement of the four new training programs, UFLSUD has shown its strong commitment to maintaining its mission, affirming its position and role as the research center for languages, cultures, and human civilization on the regional and international levels. On the morning of the 24th of March 2023, UFLSUD, in collaboration with the Nan Department of Labor, Invalis and Social Affairs, organized a career day for students in 2023. 125 businesses joined the Career Day for students and offer more than 7,700 job positions and vacancies. The Career Day is one of the frequent activities held by UFLSUD, which shows its missions and education philosophy as well as its commitment to educational quality assurance for sustainable development. On March the 18 and the 19, 2023, UFLSUD, in cooperation with Vietnam Union of Friendship Organization, Vietnam Frank Friendship Association in Da Nang, France Institute, and French Embassy in Vietnam, hosted the Francophone Cultural Exchange Day 2023. It was a part of a series of events to celebrate the 50th anniversary of vietnam franc diplomatic relations and the 10th founding anniversary of the Bilateral Strategic Partnership and the International Francophone Day. Organized with the support from diplomatic agencies and organizations of the French Republic and from Da Nang City government and departments, this traditional event of UFLSUD is significant to people-to-people -people diplomacy and highly practical to celebrate the anniversary of vietnam franc strategic partnership. On March the 16, 2022, the University Council of UFLSUD, Working Term 2020-2025, held the trial meeting sections in order to report the result of implementing the University Council resolution promulgated at the 11 meeting section to conduct the procedure of demissing and nominating members of the University Council and to approve the proposal under the University Council authority as well as the working plan for 2023. On the afternoon of the 30th of January 2023, UFLSUD organized an event to give commendations and a word to Ms. Huynh Thi Thanh Thuy, crowning Miss Vietnam 2022. 
Merce Huân Thị Thanh Thủy, student of the High Quality English Language Program of the Faculty of English for Specific Purposes of UFLSUD, was praised and conferred the Certificate of Commendations of UD's President and UFLS Rector for her great achievements in social activities and winning the title of Miss Vietnam 2022. On the afternoon of the 13th of January 2023, the Communist Party Committee of UFLSUD held a meeting to summarize the results of Communist Party development activities of 2022 and to deploy tasks for 2023. In the new development stage, the party committee of UFLSUD will draw on its strengths of 37 years of development to continue advancing the university to the expectations of the Communist Party, the government and the society and to fulfill key tasks set out for 2023. On the 26th of February 2023, the 2023 exam season counseling day was held at Fang Yujin High School. University of Foreign Language Studies, the University of Da Nang, joined the event with an information stone where UFLS lecturers and staff provided students with career orientation and information about admission and training programs. In the admission season of 2023, UFLSUD continues to offer five admission options including 1. Direct admission according to the regulation of the Ministry of Education and Training 2. Admission according to UFLS Particular Admission Plan 3. Admission based on high school academic records 4. Admission based on results from aptitude tests of Vietnam National University in Ho Chi Minh City. 5. Admission based on results from the National Graduation Exam 2023. The total intake quota of UFLSUD for 2023 is 1,830 with 13 mainstream training programs. On the morning of the 11 January 2023, UFLSUD held the graduation ceremony round 2 of 2022 for undergraduates and postgraduate programs. In the second round of graduation ceremony, UFLSUD awarded degree to 340 new bachelors of the full-time training program, 27 new bachelors of the continuing education program, 21 new master and two doctors. The ceremony praised and awarded 16 full-time students and 9 students of the Continuing Education of English Language Program, achieving high distinction. 115 full-time students and 18 part-time students of the Continuing Education of English Language Program, achieving distinction. Digital transformation has become a trend and exerted great impacts on various fields, especially in education sectors. Recently, higher education institutions have determined digital transformations is the driving force of development and implemented digital transformations in training, scientific research and higher education governance. ICT application in teaching and learning is one of the major initiatives of UFLSUD, figuring its policy and showing its efforts in promoting digital transformation and enhancing training and research quality. This has led to the university continuous and substantial investment in facilities with a particular focus on ICT application, development of library and learning resources to meet student learning needs and enhance training and research quality. From March the 8th to the 15th, 2023, four outstanding students of UFLSUD had the opportunity to participate in cultural and language exchange activities at University of Bansom Day Khao Praya, Razabad, BSRU, Thailand within the framework of the 7 ASEAN 3 Plus BSRU Youth Camp Program in 2023. 
This is the opening program in the series of cooperation activities outlined in the Memorandum of Understanding signed between UFLSUD and University of Bansom de Capria, Razabat, Thailand. On March 14, 2023, Associate Professor Dr. Deng Hu Phuc, Rector of UFLSUD, chaired the meeting and worked with Mr. Hanazato, Nobuhiko of Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. At the meeting, Associate Professor Dr. Deng Hu Phuc welcomed the visit of JICA delegation to the university. The rector extended his sincere thanks to JICA in general and to Mr. Hana Zato Nobuhiko in particular for promoting the activities of sending Japanese volunteer teacher to UFLSUD in the past time and in the coming time. On February the 24, 2023, the delegation of Siu Pakon University, Thailand, led by Dr. Pipu Busabok, Vidings of Faculty in Charge of Student Affairs and Asian Study Program, Faculty of Literature, pay a visit to and work with UFLSUD. At the meeting, Dr. Huynh Ngoc Mai Kha, Vice Rector of the University, delivered a welcoming speech to the delegation for their visit. Dr. Huynh Ngoc Mai Kha expected that the two universities would have an in-depth discussion about cooperation and successfully reach agreement on the implementation of cooperation issues. On February the 1st, 2023, Associate Professor Dr. Deng Hu Phuc, Rector of University of Foreign Language Study, University of Da Nang, chaired the meeting and worked with the representative of Chulalong Kong University, Thailand. At the meeting, Associate Professor Dr. Deng Hu Phuc said that, with the support of Royal Thai Consulate General in Ho Chi Minh City, over the past year, UFLSUD has established numerous cooperative relationships with universities and organizations and signed memorandum of understanding with several universities of Thailand. It is this cooperation that enables UFLSUD to further develop the Thai language training program. On the morning of March the 21st, 2023, the workshop on how to present and sign a research paper was organized at Hong A, UFLSUD. The workshop contents were delivered by three presenters, Dr. Lê Nguyễn Văn Anh, Master Nguyễn Hữu Thanh Minh, and Master Nguyễn Hồng Nam Phương, all are lecturers of the Faculty of English. A large number of the university students and lecturers attended the workshop and listened to valuable sharing of the presenters about the importance of citation in doing research, the methods of citing according to the APA 7 edition currently in use at UFLS, and the citation tools for academic writing. With the aim of improving student skill of research paper writing and presentation, on the morning of March the 20th, 2023, UFLSUD successfully organized the second consultation section on student scientific research with the participations of a large number of the students. At the consultation, Associate Professor Dr. Fang Van Hoa, Senior Lecturer of the Faculty of English, UFLSUD, presented an overview of research topics and contents and provided detailed instruction on how to present the content, purpose, and structure of a research paper. With enthusiasm, Associate Professor Dr. Fang Van Hoa answered in detail all the questions raised during the consultation. The consultation sections were successfully ended with a great deal of practical information shared and exchanged, giving the participants a better understanding of how to write and present scientific reports and articles. In the academic year 2021-2022, many students of UFLSUD have obtained many high achievements in scientific research under the supervision of the lecturers. 
This is a good demonstration of the university attention and investment in scientific research activity, contributing to improving the training quality and affirming the reputation of the university. The Conference on Student Scientific Research, held annually by UFLSUD, is a significant playground for students to build up their skill of doing scientific research. Excellent research papers were selected from this playground to continue competing in other student scientific research competitions at the Da Nang University level, the city level, and ministerial level. On January the 2nd and the 3rd, 2023, the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture, UFLSUD, held a workshop on the topic Some Problems in Comparity and Contrastive Linguistics Between Languages. This is a professional activity of the faculty to provide opportunity for academic exchange and sharing experiences about in-depth research into phonology, grammar, and other issues in comparative and contrasting linguistics. The seminar presentations were given by three leading professors in the field of linguistics including Professor Shibatani, Meisei Oshi, Kobe University, Japan and Rice University, the USA. Professor Brashan Badashi, National Institute for Japanese Language and Linguistics. Professor Shimizu Masaki, Osaka University, Japan. On the morning of March the 21st, 2023, the program Dialogue between Students and University Leaders in the Academic Year 2022-2023 were held at Home A at UFLSUD. This yearly program aims to establish a direct information forum for the university leaders and students, assisting the university in scrapping student feedback and concern, and resolving any problems encountered by students during their studies and life at the university. Simultaneously, the program is intended to promote its strengths and address the shortcomings with a view to ensuring and gradually improving the training quality and meeting student expectations and needs in terms of educational quality and learning environment. Within the framework of student support activity, cooperation and partnership between the university and business, on February the 28th, 2023, UFLSUD, in conjunction with the Cabin Crew Divisions of Airport Corporation of Vietnam, Vietnam Airlines, organized a career orientation seminar on recruitment of flight attendants for Vietnam Airlines in 2023. This event is aimed to increase student career prospects, offer students a forum for direct communication with employers, and reinforce the strong and lasting cooperative relationship with industry and enterprise. This activity also assists industry and enterprise in recruiting high-quality workforce graduating from University of Foreign Language Studies, the University of Da Nang. Within the framework of student support activity, cooperation and partnership between the university and business on February the 24, 2023, UFLSUD coordinated with Thai Viet Job Stock Company organized a workshop on career counseling 2023. The event is aimed to increase student job opportunities suitable with their majors, offer students a forum for direct communication with employers, reinforce strong and lasting cooperative relationship with industry and enterprise, and to support them to recruit high-quality workforce from University of Foreign Language Study, the University of Da Nang. Within the framework of student support activity, cooperation and partnership between the university and business on the afternoon of February the 17th, 2023, UFLSUD in cooperation with the Da Nang e Best English Center organized a career orientation seminar titled Career Choice, What Paths Lie Ahead for Students of Foreign Language Study Majors. 
This is an opportunity for the center to have a direct contact with UFLSUD students, so that they can promote their brand reputation, give students career guidance and counseling, as well as hold interviews to recruit qualified graduates from the university. The Center for Information Technology and Learning Resources of UFLSUD is fully equipped with technological system and housing more than 12,000 copies of book, documents, textbook, instructional material, and digital learning resources. In addition, the Center for Information Technology and Learning Resources is also connected to the studio system and virtual studio which greatly help shape a distinctive research and learning style of the university lecturers, staff and students. The reading space at the Center for Information Technology and Learning is beautifully designed with a spacious and green area, offering students a comfortable and friendly learning environment, motivating them toward effective study and research. On January the 16th, 2023, UFLSUD held a meeting to give gifts to 23 students of the university who did not come back their hometown to celebrate the Lunar New Year 2023. Meeting and giving third gifts to students and overseas students who cannot return home for the Lunar New Year celebrations is an annual activity to show the university attention, sharing, and encouragement to students, especially though having difficult family background but making great effort for achievement in their life and studies. On January the 10th, 2023, the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture, in cooperation with B-Tech Academy, a B-Tech Soft Limited company, successfully organized a seminar titled IT Compta Employment Choose People, with the aim of providing the third and fourth year student of the faculty with orientation on their career path after graduation. At the seminar, B-Tech Academy granted to full scholarship worth 20 million Vietnam dong to two students having excellent academic performance of the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture. Many gifts in the form of voucher worth 6 million Vietnam dong were also given to students who would like to register for their study at B-Tech Academy. On January the 7th, 2023, the Faculty of Korean Language and Culture, UFLSUD, in collaboration with the Representative Board of Alumni Association, held a seminar on connection, sharing, and development. Attending the seminar was university leaders, lecturers, alumni, and students of the Faculty of Korean Language and Culture. The program was organized with the design to connect former students of different cohorts for sharing experiences and providing grants for disadvantaged students. The Alumni Scholarship Fund has raised a total fund of 40,900,000 Vietnam dong to support seeking disadvantaged students so that they have a better condition for their study. On the afternoon of March the 21st, 2023, the Faculty of English for Specific Purposes, UFLSUD, in conjunction with International Geographic Learning Publishing House, Sangage, in Vietnam, organized a community program and English study exchange activity, attracting the participation of nearly 500 students from different member educational institutions of UD. The program was intended to strengthen community activity and to offer students the opportunity to meet and interact with foreign volunteers and practice speaking English outside classroom setting. With the theme, Ambition, Future Ready, Career Ready, student has the sharing of National Geographic Explorer, Ripu Vobra, from the USA. This good help them grasp valuable knowledge and meaningful messages for their future study and career. 
On the EVD of March the 17th, 2023, the final night of the talented, elegant student contest of UFLSUD took play with the attendance of a great number of university students. The event also welcomed the presence of Miss Vietnam 2022, Huân Thị Thanh Thủy, a student who won the title of Miss UFLSUD in 2021. In her new role as a member of the churches, Huân Thị Thanh Thủy shy herself with beauty, talent and bravery, would help bring pride for her family and contribute to elevating the university reputation. Dư Nguyễn Tuệ Giang, a former student of UFLSUD, is currently president of Vietnamese Student Association in Springfield City, Missouri, USA, and working at the Office of International Student at Missouri State University. Graduating with high distinction from the Faculty of Foreign Language Teacher Education of UFLSUD in 2019, Tuệ Yang pursued further study with a double major master program in communication and project management at Missouri State University from December 2020. On the morning of February the 24, 2023, the Youth Union of UFLSUD held a blood donation day at the university's lobby. The event was welcomed by more than 430 students inside and outside the university. This meaningful program has reached out to the hearts of young people with enthusiasm and willingness to act for the sake of others, arousing a lifestyle of harmony, love, solidarity, and care. On the morning of February the 13th, 2023, the Faculty of English, UFLSUD, held an exchange program with a group of lecturers and students of the Faculty of English Linguistic and Literature, the University of Social Science and Humanity, Vietnam National University, Ho Chi Minh City. The exchange program was a valuable experience for students of both universities to share experiences, cultivate more practical knowledge, as well as be inspired in language research. The event promised to bring about long-term, open, and sustainable cooperation opportunity for the two universities in the near future. On the morning of the 9th of January 2023, the Student Association of UFLSUD solemnly organized a ceremony to mark the 73rd anniversary of the Student Traditional Day and the Vietnamese Student Association and to commend the title of Student of Fine Marriage at the university level for the academic year 2021-2022. This is an occasion for UFLS students to review the glorious traditions of the Vietnamese Student Association and the role of students in the country construction and development. On this occasion, excellent and outstanding students of the university were commended for their achievement of the title, Students of Five Marist. On the afternoon of March the 4th, 2023, the Labor Union of UFLSUD had the program Love Bonding to celebrate the 113th anniversary of International Women's Day. More than 200 trade union members, lecturers, and staff of the university attended the program taking place at the sport field of the main campus in Lung Nhữ Học Street. A number of interesting and meaningful activities were designed for the participants to join including traditional meetings and talks, team-building games, and UFLS family meal. On the morning of February the 16th, 2023, the Executive Committee meeting of UFLSUD Youth Union, Term VA, was held at Hong A of the campus. The meeting was chaired by Mr. Trần Văn Thành, Secretary of the Youth Union. 
the executive committee conducted the voting and promoted Mr. Dao Ngọc Vinh, lecturer of Faculty of Russian Language, member of executive committee of the Youth Union, to the standing committee, taking the position of deputy secretary of the Youth Union for the term 2022-2024. At the same time, the meeting also appointed Ms. Lê Thị Nhung, lecturer of the Faculty of Chinese, as member of the Executive Committee of the Youth Union Term D8. On the morning of the same day, the Executive Committee meeting of UFLSUD Student Association Term 2021-2023 to play under the chairmanship of Mr. Trần Văn Thành, Secretary of the Youth Union, Mr. Đào Ngọc Vinh, were also promoted to the Executive Committee of UFLSUD Student Association and appointed to be the President of UFLSUD Student Association for the term 2021-2023. Joining the jubilant test atmosphere all over the country on the morning of January the 27, 2023, UFLSUD held the first meeting of the Lunar New Year and the ceremony to honor 10 new doctors and 10 master degrees holders in 2022. Associate Professor Dr. Trần Hữu Phúc, Rector of the University, delivered the spring message wishing a happy and prosperous new year to all of the staff and lecturers and a strong development to the university. Participants of the meeting together share the hope and belief in a new year of new success and achievements for each university member and for the whole university. On the afternoon of January the 13th, 2023, the party committee of UFLSUD held the meeting on grasping, propagandizing, and implementing the resolutions of the Sixth Plenum of the 13th Communist Party of Vietnam Central Committee. Mr. Bùi Văn Tiến, former head of organization committee of Da Nang City Party Committee, was invited to share with the participant fundamental contents of the resolution approved in the sixth plenum of the 13th Communist Party of Vietnam Central Committee. The contents shared at the meeting were of great significance to all staff and party members of the universities. On the afternoon of January the 10th, 2023, the delegation of South Korean writers paid a visit to UFLSUD and had an exchange activity with students of the Faculty of Korean Language and Culture. On this occasion, the university cooperated with the Korean writer to award the prizes of the Korean Literature Perception Contest. The visit and exchange activity of the Korean writers was very significant and radical, serving as part of the event to welcome the newly accredited South Korean Consul General taking office in Da Nang City. The program also offers students a valuable chance to learn and share about culture, literature, and language, thereby further enhancing their practice of Korean language. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.